Okay guys, in this video, I'm gonna be reacting to the new FC25 career mode deep dive trailer. So let's just get into it. To be a legend in the game, you have to take a club to new heights. You have to go where no one else has gone. Career mode in 25 is the most forward thinking in FC history. They're showing women's soccer. Real life tactics and situations also, with live start points. Maybe this is women's career, career mode. with icons. And I'm delighted to introduce Player women's career with icons. to career. Oh yeah, yeah okay, so they are introducing women's it. football. FC25 marks a new era for both manager and player career. Players will be able to live out real world stories from the biggest leagues in the world with live start points. Okay. The biggest update we've added to career in years. In okay, that's pretty good. So I'm assuming it's going to be like you can start at the point that it is in real life. So if it's in like near the end of the season, then you can just start at the end of the season. I think that's pretty good, especially if you want to do a career mode in like June, July, August, somewhere around there. And you just want to do it for the next season. Then I could just do start point now in FC 25 instead of just having to wait for the new game, right? FC 25, you can experience the drama of any team's real world season. Pick up from where a team or player yeah, like left POV off that camera. week. And you'll have to deal with the related league standings, fixtures, Injuries, yeah, that's pretty good. Or start from a special snapshot moment, a curated starting point based on a newsworthy situation at a specific club. Okay, be it at a manager sacking, a big transfer, a team overperforming, and so on. We've also okay, got so loads of new updates across management. Certain modes, points that they have FC built in already by way of team tactics and player roles. Player roles add a dimension to tactics beyond player positions and drive success more than ever in career on and off the pitch. Picking okay. the right player roles is a key factor across player development, staffing, scouting, training and coaching, and it helps fuel and influence player and squad cohesion. Something our community has been asking for is an update to press conferences. Just a couple of questions for you. So we've used FCIQ to change how these work, to make them more dynamic. Okay. Reporters will ask questions that are specific to your tactical choices, your players and their roles. Your answers affect the updated morale system, so managers will have to find the right balance between critique and praise. We've also Isn't that kind of how... It, I swear that's kind of what it was already. Wasn't it just like they'd ask questions about certain players or whatever, or like the, how the team's performing, and then based on your answers, the morale goes up and down? I thought that's just how it was. I don't know what this is changing. Starting with expanding the list of countries that you can send youth scouts to. And okay, so there's more countries, that's good. Thing, of course, you've got to develop their talent which is why we've integrated Rush 5v5 matches into Youth Academy. Yeah, so I think this is something we already knew. Managers can actively boost youth development over the course of three match tournaments. Win the final, earn the maximum boost, and your next rising star will be that much closer to achieving their first team dream. Watch as your youth squad players physically grow up over the years. We've also added a long requested There's a 14 year old in there. Gameplay, I don't know if that was a thing settings. before. With it enabled, teams will play a more deliberate style of play, close to what you'd see in a real-world football match. Okay. Taking it a step further, we've developed a dynamic sim setting that changes the aspects of the AI's play from one game to the okay, next. Okay, there's more s settings here. So it looks like you can turn on and off a lot of these settings, like playing training drills, training plans. You can turn it off if you want, if you don't want to do it. And then you can, I guess, during the career mode, maybe? I'm assuming that's what this is. You can change like how the transfer approaches are, like how difficult it is. Scouting, you can turn on and off. That's not bad. If you want like a more simplistic career mode, you can just turn off all these extra things. Or if you want it to be really in depth and, and you want to be like really involved in every aspect of the career mode, then you can just turn on everything. There's really exciting things happening with player career as well. Okay, so player career with icons. Still. Now you can take existing icons and put them in any team of your choice and see okay. them perform alongside today's players. We're incredibly excited about okay, this that's not bad. it unlocks so many new opportunities to evolve career and we'll have different sets of icons to choose from as the game progresses. I'm not sure if they had it in FC24, but they used to have where you can play with a real player, a real life player in their current situation. But this one is an icon player, so it's kind of similar, but you can pick like a number of icons and then play their career out. In FC25, we've made Origin it so that players will have more flexibility in setting up their story of their player career. Storylines have expanded to the classic rags to riches story. Okay. Following in the footsteps of your parents or coming back from what a career threatening injury. The story you select will have an impact on and off the pitch. From generating okay. reactions on social media to influencing games. Okay, there's social media. That's not bad, I guess. It adds another aspect to a player career where there's a storyline going and you can follow that path on your career mode. So I guess it's not too bad. In FC25, we women's football. the world's top five women's leagues into both manager and player career. In manager career, managers will be able to move freely between managing men's and women's teams. 
And in player okay. career, they can play for any of these top clubs. Okay, so there's women's career. Player and manager, you can enter the women's career mode. They're saying manager career, you can switch between men's and women's, so that's pretty decent. We designed a new visual system that has a slicker and more simple UI with a new suggested task list okay. that helps players with their next important decision. And of course, we've upped social media in FC25. Play so Richard Romano's in the game, let's go. With some of the biggest news outlets in football, like Fabrizio Romano, who will be keeping you up to date with all the latest transfer information. Play well, and the fans will wonder if you deserve a statue. Play not so great, and well, they'll let you know. And that's everything new to Korea in FC20. Welcome back to the world's game. Now, what will you do for the club? Stop asking me! I'm gonna score all the goals! Okay, so I'm gonna be honest, I don't think there's anything crazy in this. Maybe I'm like missing something and I'm completely dumb, but they added like the rush thing for the youth development, that, so that's something that they added. Starting points is I think the biggest thing. I think that's a huge thing that they added there. Just because I don't wanna start a career mode now at this point in August when it's a whole year after like when the actual games takes place. So the live start points could be really good in that aspect. I could just start today or or maybe it would just be like July 1st that I'd start it, it, since it's August. The rush, I mean, I don't really care. It gives you an opportunity to play with your Youth Academy players, I guess, before you sign them. So that's something. FCIQ, you have more impact on the tactics and you can go into detail on how you want to play. But that's something that's in the game in general, right? It's not just specific to career mode. Scouting, they added more, more countries, that's something. The press conferences, I, I swear it's just the same thing. It's just a different animation. I do like that you can turn on and off certain settings so you can play career mode how you like you can turn off things that you don't like so if you don't like scouting you can just turn off scouting right so that's good it, it gives the player the option and then icon player career that's okay i'm not going to touch it really but it's something origin stories could be good but we'd have to see like what it's like women's career it's always good you, you're growing the game you, you're getting women's football up there so that's always good and it's optional right if you don't want to play you don't have to play it if you want to play it you can play it so yeah i mean they did add some stuff it looks okay i don't think it's anything game changing i don't feel like this was like a main focus for them like ultimate team it feels like they added a lot compared to what they added for a career mode i think live strike points is the biggest thing and i think that's really good but other than that there's nothing much here that impresses me too much so yeah, career mode, I mean, uh, I think I'd give it like a 6 out of 10 for this trailer. Ultimate team, it would have been like an 8 out of 10, even though I am i don't want to play ultimate team. I want to play career mode. But I'm hoping, like, maybe it's just I'm not wowed by the trailer. Maybe it actually plays well and you can actually have fun when you play career mode, right? But next up is pro clubs, I think. I hope that it's not going to be a disappointment with pro clubs as well. And they didn't just focus on ultimate team again. So yeah, that's the end of this video. Thank you very much for watching. Leave a like if you liked this video. Subscribe, turn on notifications, all that stuff. Stuff, and comment down below. Are you excited for career mode? Does this trailer wow you and amaze you on like it did for me? Or are you kind of disappointed in this? Just leave your comments down below. I'll be reading them all and take care.